and welcome back. This is Beth from Two Nerds on a Couch, playing 3 out of 10, Season 1, Episode 2, Foundation 101. CIA hug. <laughs> Looks pleasant enough. Don't see too many students, though. Man, it's a video game college. You expect anyone to be outside? Fair point. All right. There's probably some kind of business relations clerk or something. Oh, there's a tour. Let's ask the guide. We come now to our newly refurbished Provost West building, named after yours truly, in honor of my record-breaking dedication to our shareholders and students. Do you actually make video games here? Don't be ridiculous. That's unhygienic. But you train them for real game development, right? Because what little Robbie wants, little Robbie gets. We adhere to strict principles of higher instruction, including a rigid curriculum of theory. The more rote task of learning which buttons to push is delegated to our robust internship program. So many big words. Impressive. Wait, you're saying you don't even train the students? Our instruction is of the highest quality, among schools with a similar accreditation rating. Oh, God, is this a for-profit school? Your questions are making me uncomfortable, so I'm going to ignore you now. Wait, who are you all? You look old for prospective students. It's never too late to go back to school, okay? Not if you have good credit. Why do you have a robot? Oh, that's my automated recruitment assistant. He's not ex-military, and don't you dare imply that he is. He's a recruiting agent. Sweet missiles. Uh, studies show that there's a direct correlation between missiles and enrollment. Look, we're just here to return our interns. You keep sending them to us, and we don't want them. We're from a game dev studio across town. Uh, Midge doesn't want us to keep feeding them to the engineers. Engineers have to eat too, don't they? That's what I said! Are these game devs? Like, real game devs? You make Cool Border. My son wants to work on Cool Border. I thought you said you had 100% job placement among graduates. We do. We're creating a workforce for tomorrow. Our guaranteed internship program directly leads to job placement. We've never hired any of our interns. Oh, we do use them as poker chips sometimes, though, which is close. Recruitus Maximus, escort these hecklers off campus, would you? Affirmative will destroy. <laughs> Quick, scatter! Change formations to avoid attacks. Moving out. Stun, darling, stun! Ow, what the hell? Engage. Leave me alone! I think we're safe. Now, uh, where the hell are we? <sighs> Lost. Where's everyone else? Weren't they behind you? I wasn't running, okay? I was chasing you. Man, I didn't say anything about that. Look, military-grade robots weren't part of the deal. You can't snot kick a robot. Man, let's just get out of here, all right? Yeah, whatever. Okay, this campus can't be that big. We went down the hill, then between those two dorms, then into here, Hey, intern, do you know where we are? I've never been to this part of the school. Hopefully the others will go back to the car. So, we find the car, wait for them, get the hell out of here. All right, so which way is the car? Could ask the old dude in there. Huh? What? Man. Whew, that thing was terrifying. Where are Ben and Viper? God, we will forever mourn their loss. 
Can we stop at Best Buy on the way home? Can't we just leave the interns in some corner and go, Midge? No, we need to make sure that we put them somewhere where they won't get ignored. Like the middle of a street. Like a classroom. Let's find an empty one and put them there. Then someone else will find them later. All right, well, let's find a classroom then. And we're back again. JT and Rebel Breeze here. You're listening to the Dice Bag, bringing you the latest news and gossip. What were we talking about again, Breeze? Oh, I don't know. It wasn't important. Hey, Jay, what did you study in school? Oh, well, I was. Aw, oh, man. There's totally a bag of chips there about to fall. It's one of the saddest things you can find on a college campus. Don't they have any student work to show? I really just want to explore around and, and take a look at this campus because I'm, I'm super curious. Huh. They probably spent more on this fountain than they do on their classrooms. Facts. I guess a security officer normally sits here. Good thing they're not around. Communications major with a focus on broadcast media. <laughs> Fat lot of good that degree did for me. Look at me now. Jade! You know, I eat cold pizza for breakfast sometimes. But not this pizza. I wish you could still hear the radio while hey she's talking. Hey kids, my name is Triangle. I'm a basic building block of 3D modeling. <laughs> I'm a flat surface made by connecting three vertices in space. Oh, oh, oh. We call them verts for short. Oh, what's this? It's my friend, Engon. Why so glum, Engon? I'm sad because no one wants me around. That's true. You introduce shading errors and add imprecision to modeling. No one really does want you around. <laughs> what? That's not how you cheer up a friend. Don't worry. The GPU will automatically carve you up into little triangles anyway. Ah, it burns! It burns! <laughs> ah! Hooray! Now you're just like me. Remember, kids, <laughs> sooner or later, everything turns into triangles. Hooray! Definitely not that room. Huh, strange. Who makes a marble bust of themselves these days? It's that administrator again. She looks scarier in a cap and gown. Doesn't seem like there's anything back there. Why is it that it looks like stairs, but you can't go up them? It's Dr. Mermaid Sushi here, back with only the most killer tips, tutorials, and tricks for game dev. Just got a quick lesson today about how to activate the perspective viewpoint in the very real game editor today. Just a quick one, but first, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell for updates. Okay, now, before we get into it, I just want to say I couldn't have done this tutorial without the help of my boy, Squeezy Cheese 96 What up, dog? Check out his channel for more awesome game dev tips. Wonderful person, that Squeezy. Also, I just wanted to say, Ladrachio the Slayer, you're like super uncivil and don't know my mom at all, so stop saying those things. Okay, so now, let's get into this. So if you really want to activate the perspective camera in very real, I found so, uh, this really hot trick. How many YouTube you videos have sure you watched that are like this? Plugged into an outlet. Use a grounded outlet. Never ever saw off the grounding pin and use a two-prong. Trust me, okay? So you gotta use a grounded outlet. Even if you have a laptop with only a two-prong plug, always use a three-prong outlet. It's just safer, you know? It's just good advice. Okay, the next step to activating the perspective mode in Very Real Game Editor is to turn on your computer. There's usually a little button on the side. It has a little snake eyeball icon over it because, I don't know, Illuminati much, PC users? <laughs> anyway, once your computer's turned on, you gotta wait for it to... Anyway, so the next step to activating the Very Real Perspective Viewpoint is to load up the Very Real Editor. This is done by finding the icon that looks like this. Okay, so now that we have the editor loaded, we need to find one button. It looks like this. All you have to do is click that button. Boom! Perspective View. 
Yeah! So, yeah, thanks again to my boy, SqueezyCheese96, yo boy, for showing me this. And I hope you all learn a thing or two. Be sure to do me a fave and smash the like and subscribe buttons and join me again next week for more awesome game dev tips and tricks. Definitely not that room. I love little nooks like these. I would have curled up here with a good comic. I'm pretty sure this plant isn't real. Do you think they still use books here? Or do they use PDF printouts stapled together? You're the one who wants to find a classroom. I'm following your lead here, Midge. Yeah, but I'm the one that's doing all the walking around, not you, Kevin. This is how you properly stack any building material. Offset them, see? Doesn't matter if you're using bricks, cinder blocks, Legos, or soup cans. Always offset. Learning proper construction techniques will take you far in life. Uh, maybe not that room. When analyzed with a proper academic eye, we see that this game is about so much more than just paddles and balls. Such a game is, in truth, a commentary on the environment in which it was made, a scathing critique of the oppressive nature of the Cold War, and a lament about government distrust. Is the human condition one in which we are perpetually juggling both offensive and defensive positions? Is the failure of our capitalistic framework resulting in a disaffected youth? Or is it vice versa? These are the questions directly asked by this game and by all games. But what about Strategic Interstellar Genocide 3? That's my favorite game. Does that have a deeper meaning? That shit will rot your brain. Uh, maybe not that room. Apply to your dream studio every single day. You never know when someone new will see your work. Apply, Apply to your dream studio every single day. day. You never you know, know when someone, someone new will see your work. work. Resumes should include every app you've ever tried the demo of. Resumes should include every app you've ever tried the demo of. The best way to show off my 3D modeling skills is with a long demo reel. The best way to show my 3D modeling skills is with a long demo reel. I will get a job because I have a bigger portfolio with more stuff in it. I will get a job because I have a bigger portfolio with more stuff in it. I will spend more time networking than on my skills. I will spend more time networking than on my skills. Maybe not that room. <laughs> Uh, is this seriously their curriculum? And then they send them off to us. Why would you make it so easy to push that thing over? Huh, cool. How about that red door? That might be a good place to leave some interns. Secret passageway! Whoa, what is this place? It's some kind of intern packing plant. I knew these schools were churning through students. I had no idea it was this bad. Huh, there's a lot of people in here. Who are you all? Hey, dweebs! What are you doing locked up? Ben? Holy crap, Frank! Hey, Viper, I used to work with that guy. I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. Frank, what the hell, man? How you been? What's with the chains, man? The what? Oh, right, the chains. Yeah, I decided to go into academia. This is pretty standard. Do you want me to, uh, you know, get you down? Nah, it's cool. We get health and dental. They let us walk around an hour a day, too. That's cool. 
What? Really? Totally, man. Good benefits, free parking, zero chance of having to fix show-stopping bugs at four in the morning. This is the life. Except there's no snack time. Otherwise, yeah, solid gig. So you're a teacher? Yeah, except we're not allowed to influence the lessons, but we help their accreditation rating, so they keep us here. So you're a teacher who doesn't teach. I know, it's great. Hey, Ben. You should join us. He will be joining you. You! Provost West! This is a faculty-only room. You're not faculty, are you? Come over here, so I can kick the snot out of you. That's against campus regulations. I don't think you really are game developers. We sure are. We work for Shovelworks Studios. Now out of my way! I think you both need to cool off in here while I consider what to do with you. No! Ah, uh, probably shouldn't have told the way we work, dude. You know when they call some college a degree factory? I never thought they were being literal. <laughs> hey, come look at this. It looks like a test print for an ad or something. Compress four years of study into four days and prepare for your new career as a game designer. Huh. Wow, that sounds great. Where do I sign up? You are a game designer. What's this? Phase two proposal confidential memo. Where's the rest of it, though? Hey. Help me find the other pieces for this. Sure. This is definitely more important than our personal safety. We're on it, Midge. Oh, wow. A real-life wooden crate. You don't find these out in the wild too much anymore. <laughs> Crates. Crates in every game. Crates. Same with barrels. Here's one. Why do places like this always have barrels hanging around? What do they even use them for? Because barrels make explosions! Are those slippers down there? Always with the dang slippers. Can't I just release these interns? Hello, New England. I'm Jade, and you're listening to the Dice Bag. Another radio. Your source for game, film, and culture news and talk. You hear that? Gotcha. Is a new sweaty blood game being made? They're up to 14. No, I didn't. Because I don't play sweaty blood. I don't play my blood. Good thing this yellow bar keeps you from going outside of this tightly confined but aesthetically pleasing predefined region. There we go. Whoa. There's always like I wonder what these cups of iced coffee for. laying around too. Or maybe. It's soda. I assume huh. iced coffee it's because like of the desk. green straw. Out of students? Look, made with genuine intern. Whatever's going on here looks really nefarious. Wall of students, you all look pretty cozy there. You can't hide from me, you inanimate object. Okay, let's do this together, Pylon. You look for the missing pieces of paper, I'll delegate. <laughs> you can see, you can see how crammed in they are with the x ray machine. Some of them look comfy, some of them do not. This door only opens when it's convenient for the plot. Robust internship program assembly instruction.
can't hide from me, you inanimate object. Let's see, what does this intern look like? Oh, he's chilling on like a 3DS or something. That one is crammed in the shape of a pretzel, sort of. Oh my god. They're planning on renting the interns out. As cubicles. I can't just stand by and watch them turn all these students into cubicles. We've got to do something. Be sure to do me a fave and smash the like and subscribe buttons and join me again next week for more awesome game dev tips and tricks.